In the meantime, two scholarships in memory of two of the murdered children in Cocoa Peace Clarendon have been created. This was revealed at a recent graduation at the Beulah All Age School in Clarendon. Dwayne Anderson has our story. A sobering image at the graduation for students of the Beulah All Age and Infant School. This empty chair is where Raphaela Smith would have been seated had she not been killed during last week's attack on a family of five in New Road, Clarendon. We have reserved her chair and um, it was a tough decision as to whether or not not to do that as opposed to doing it. But in the end we decided that, that, we, that we will honour her memory and um, we, we are enjoying the day but we are also mindful of the fact that this little girl would have graduated, would have been sitting there you would have heard the song from the, the graduating class, the infant. Such a beautiful song, We Are the World, and the message, you know, from the song. And Rafaela would have been a star in that song. Um, she, would be, she would have been receiving a few of the awards, you know, or trophies or medals or certificates. They're all prepared. Two scholarships were announced in remembrance of Rafaela and her big sister, Charlie who was also a student at the school. This trophy will remain at the school, but every year we will give a scholarship or two scholarships to two students, one scholarship of 500,000 and one for $250,000. We will definitely use it as an incentive, you know, in their memory to help students to work hard towards being the beneficiary of this scholarship that is of a um, the magnitude that will greatly assist them when they advance to the next step of their education. Education Minister Favel Williams also attended the graduation ceremony. I want you to know that this is only one milestone, but you've taken it. You have done well. You've made your parents proud. Meanwhile, the minister also commended the institution for using more technology in its lessons in the academic year. It's part of the ministry's push to produce more technologically savvy students from an early age. Beulah All Age and Infant School got the QEC pla plaque for utilization of technology and social media. Give yourselves a round of applause. Turning to other matters in the education sector, the minister had this update for primary exit profile PEP results. I know by now, usually you would have gotten your PEP results, but remember the exams were later in the year, and so that pushed back the results. Parents in the meantime are being encouraged to ensure students make use of the learning opportunities available in the National Summer School Program. Classes started Monday. There's no cost to you, the parents. The Ministry of Education and Youth is providing it. And we're doing that because these children who are graduating here today, these grade sixers, they lost a lot of face time in school. And so we want to ensure that when they transition to high school, that they will be on par or better. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.